Hey guys, uh, Marta, you are the CIO of Lintia, which is a Spanish fiber optic operator. I wonder if you could elaborate a little bit about your uh, transformation goals uh, for your network and, and your strategy. Absolutely. Uh, Lintia is a neutral cell operator provided connectivity to telecommunications operators, hyperscalers, and cloud providers. We are at the point a major transformation focused on three strategic priorities, digital evolution, commercial expansion, and a stronger customer-centric approach. This transformation strategy is structured around several key pillars with significant investment in infrastructure, innovation, ESG, internationalization, hyper-automation, cybersecurity, and strategic alliances. Our IT strategy aligns with this vision aiming to automate uh, processes, reduce costs, and enhance the customer experience. Igor, uh, Oracle has uh, obviously been helping customers uh, accomplish unified operations transformation for a long time. Uh, what was unique about the challenges uh, that Lintia faced uh, and, and what made Oracle uh, the right partner to move forward. The key to success of any transformation is the importance to identify the right starting point. For Lintia, the business mandated that they need to start with the service orchestration to drive time to value and accelerate customer onboarding. From Oracle's perspective, service orchestration is our DNA and we have been doing it for decades. We are experts in this domain and best in class to understand the customer and operational needs to automate the whole process from order to activate. So at the end, it was a perfect fit. Within Lintia, the next step in this transformation is unified assurance. With Fedro's acquisition, Oracle also becomes expert in network and service assurance. Therefore, we are not only able to orchestrate and fulfill service, but also monitor and assure the same service. Martin, uh, I wondered if you could elaborate a little bit on how you're using Oracle's service orchestration solution. We are currently uh, using the platform to automate a zero touch provisioning for FTP8, Ethernet Connect, and capacity services. We have a comprehensive roadmap to evolve the system, and we now are uh, automating the delivery testing, API management, and dynamic service changes. Very cool. Uh, what are the industry trends that you're uh, seeing having the most impact on OSS projects today? Uh, and do you think that uh, those are going to change in, in the next few years? So clearly, I would say the, the, the key trend in OSS is how to enable autonomous operations to address the new business needs with a mandate for agility, speed, time to value, and we could discuss zero weight, zero touch, zero travel, self-serving, self-fulfilling, self-assuring, and the list keeps growing. On the other angle, it's also critical that OSS systems understand and translate business needs into actionable actions in the network. The legacy way of manual and shaking between teams and tools will not work anymore. So it's a big transformation, not only for the software with interoperability and automation, but also for the entire operational process. AI and the Jinkik AI will also play a big role, both in terms of analytics and observability and simplification of complex tasks. AI agents will evolve into a mandatory asset to enable all this transformation. Our unified operations portfolio is ready to enable end-to-end -end automated operations, leveraging three key pillars, orchestration, inventory, and assurance. From design, fulfill, and assure journeys, and travel to resolve use case, powered by the great Oracle technology and the big investment on AI, really sets us as a key player in the domain. On top of it, Oracle portfolio includes the whole monetization and digital business experience that are linked to unified operations. This allows end-to-end -end translation of the business needs again into network actions. So in summary, I really believe Oracle has all the right resource, resources 
to help shape in the industry and enabling our customers achieving an autonomous operations vision. Thank you, Igor. Uh, Marta, let's look forward a little bit. Looking ahead, what are your goals uh, around automating operations, uh, given that you've decided to roll out this Oracle Unified Assurance uh, program? Uh, wh where do you see your company heading uh, with automation? With Oracle Unify as for us, uh, we are building a proactive and automated uh, operations model. This project is led by the engineering team, and our main goals are um, a simplified OSS architecture, reducing the number of tools and lowering the PCO. We are time monitoring and proactive incident detection, automated incidents resolution, scalable service assurance, faster time to market uh, through simplified configuration. It's very important for us. All of this is aligned with our broader network as a service and zero touch vision. Automation extends uh, beyond the network. Our hyper automation strategy also includes uh, business and corporate functions ensuring a company-wide uh, transformation. We are building a scalable, intelligent, and customer-centric operation model to support our long-term growth. Thank you, guys. Really interesting.